Good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in on this, well, where I'm at on this Thursday afternoon. Just to let everybody know, yes, we've been dealing with Hurricane Ian. Um, right now, at the time that this is being recorded, it's now a tropical storm, and the storm is sitting over Orlando. Orlando is a good two hours and 50 minutes from me by car so by the time it reaches me the wind is about 65 miles an hour so by the time the tropical storm which is now what it is reaches me it should be about 50 55 mile an hour with gusts up to about 65 um, i'm probably going to see the worst of or the the actual actual impact of the storm probably later this evening or tomorrow although saint augustine which is about an hour away from me by car um one of my because i'm subscribed to one of my newscasters from one of the local stations and i'm seeing boats out in the water near the bridge of lions being thrown around like it's a, a dish rack um, but my goal here, or my topic for today, since we're dealing, or I'm dealing with the hurricane, is, or tropical storm, is a stockpile. A stockpile is something that all of us, it doesn't matter where you live, what state you're in, power surges are going to happen without fail at any time without notice. So it's always good to have some type of a stockpile set up. Um, you, all you have to do is go to the store, and when you do your shopping, devote 5 or $10. You don't necessarily have to buy brand name canned goods. Um, as I recently stated in... Um, one of my last videos, Dollar Tree sells a, a milk like Parmalat milk for half the money that tastes just as well for those that like milk. Um, but I have to buy milk like that because um, I like milk, but I'm not a hardcore drinker of milk. Um, and that milk tastes just like Parmalat. I can't notice any difference. And what's good about that particular milk is it has a good shelf life until you open it. Now, when you open it, um, unless you plan on using the whole thing, um, it then you're going to need to refrigerate it in order to preserve it. But those work good. Um, you've seen me show those Hormel completes. On an average, you can pick those up for about $2.24 at Walmart. You can also get them through Amazon. You'd have to buy a, a quantity of six for about $13, $14. It's in that ballpark. Um, you know, you always want to make sure you have plenty of batteries, a flashlight, uh, things like that. But a stockpile is not that hard to begin. Anybody can start one. And yes, you are going to eat off of it. That's what it's there for. Um, even canned goods in general have an expiration date on it. I'll tell you something else that I like to have in a stockpile. Some people like it. Some people don't. I use it in my coffee. I like having evaporated milk around. Most people don't realize in a pinch, if you don't have powdered creamer, evaporated milk works great in a cup of coffee. So if you've never tried that, Definitely give it a try. It's a very old method. Um, I actually learned that from um, a relative of mine. That's all she'll use in her coffee is nothing but straight evaporated milk, nothing else. That and her Maxwell House instant coffee. Um but primarily, the reason why I wanted to come on was to let everybody know that I am okay. I still have power. All is good. Um, you know, I've 
lived in Jacksonville since 1983, um, have dealt with several hurricanes. Um, the two worst ones I think I've had to deal with since I've lived here is Irma and Matthew. Matthew was 2016. Irma was 2017. I was in Matthew for a short time. I did evacuate. I was at a hotel, but not a very long distance was a Waffle House across the street. So me and my friend took a chance and went across the street to a Waffle House and ate and then went back. But you never want to be out in it. That is very catastrophic winds. Um, it'll blow you around no matter how strong you think you are. So hurricanes are, are not anything to be played with. Neither is a tropical storm or bad weather in general, tornado, any of that. So, all right, everybody, this is not a real lengthy video. I just wanted to put something out there. I wanted to talk about the stockpile. That's something that you really do need to have no matter what. Um, yes, you're going to eat off of it. Devote about five ten dollars a month, and you can slowly build one up. You know, just have things that are necessary in case the weather goes out, a way to fall back, and that I'm doing well and everything's going fine up here in Florida. Don't get me wrong. I do like certain parts of central southern Florida, but and I do enjoy the Gulf of Mexico. I think the water is a lot prettier over there. But would I live down that way? No, I'm sorry. I would not. Um, I have to say living up here in northeast Jacksonville or now northeast Florida, I've been fortunate in the 40 years coming up that I've lived here. All right, everybody. Um, I hope all of you have a great rest remainder of your Thursday. I hope you have a good upcoming weekend. Stay safe if you are in Florida um, dealing with this bad weather. I know there are a few, I believe, subscribers of mine that live in Florida as well as I do. All right, guys. Hope you all have a great day, evening. And I'll see you guys back here on Saturday. Have a good one. Bye.